Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending where you're at in the world. Today we're going to do a video on what's in my chef's bag. Um, we are going to have a Friday chat, or we just had a Friday chat yesterday, so please don't mind um, if you have any questions. Uh, refer back to that video. I will put a link to that video in the description box below. So, a few things before we start the video. As I explained yesterday, I was in college to be a chef. I was removed because of my disability. So I figured that I would do a what's in my chef's bag. So I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe to see our videos pretty much daily. There may be one day a week that there's not a video, but I haven't. Um, I want to do at least six of the seven days, hopefully seven days of videos. So um, I will keep everybody posted. Um, right now I'm at least a video or two ahead, so I can guarantee to stay on that schedule. Hopefully I can get some more recorded in the next couple of days. Um, also, don't forget to join us on the Facebook page at Mike's Culinary Adventures. There is no apostrophe in that. And on to the show. All right, so we're going to start with my chef's bag that I got from school. Don't mind the reach in my face being weird in the camera. Um, first of all, before I open the bag, I'm going to show you the bag here. Um, we got this big bag from school. It's got three compartments. So we're going to start with compartment one. Um, and if you hear a lot of noise in the background, it's me because I did not find a very good way of doing this. So let's just hope that I can do it to everybody's liking. So, I'm going to open up the first bag, and I'm not showing you the inside of the bag because it's very, very messy. I will show you the items in the bag, though. This might actually help me organize it some, too. So, we're going to start with stuff that's stuck. Why not? All right. So, this is an offset spatula. Um, I have used this a few times, not as much as a lot of chefs do. Um, it's very light. Um, it's got a nice grip on it, which is very, very uh, helpful. Sorry, guys. Um, they also gave us two of these, what they call tasting spoons. Um, they're just a regular, honestly, they're a regular kitchen spoon. Um, so nothing to get excited about there. Um, they also gave us the same match of these uh, what they call tasting forks, they're again, quite honestly, they're just regular forks. If you're going to build a chef bag, just find some mismatched forks and, you know, throw them in there. Um, I have not, I've used these a couple of times, um, use them mostly in class and I do use them when I cook in a different place. This is my chef's knife. As you can see. You were like, you're like, what's that thing on it? They give you this uh, case for it to protect your blades. Um, I actually surprisingly really like these knives. Um, have used it actually quite a bit. This is my go-to knife that I go to. Um, I keep this stuff in a bag in my kitchen. Um, and I also bring it to friends' house when I cook at friends' houses. So that's that. That's the chef's knife. Um, they gave us a wooden spoon. Um, I'm not so sure I like this wooden spoon. I don't like it to get mixed up with mine. I like the thinner edges. Um, my mother-in-law's got one. Let me see if it's right here. Reachable. May or may not be. She's got one that I kind of like, but I have one at home. Okay, I don't have that one. Oh, yes, I do. Perfect. So this is the wooden spoon my mother-in-law has. I have a bit different one. Um, when I get back to my house up north, I will try to do a... Uh, I will make sure I show that when I do my kitchen tour. 
Um, so yes, I showed you the wooden spoon. What else have I missed? Ah, fish spatula. This is for when you are cooking fish and all that other good stuff. Um, I actually have used this for other things. Um, me as a blind person sometimes has problems getting stuff underneath the spatula. So I have used this with my hand as a guide to actually get meat on here and flip it easier. So besides using it for fish, it also works good for other things. Um, I think if I remember right, they said that this ladle, it's stuck in here, hold on. This ladle, if I remember right, is a four ounce ladle. Um, almost every chef that I, the few chefs that I had when I was still in school, they recommended that we get a one ounce ladle that it would help for serving. Um, I can't say I've actually used this ladle all that much. I think that's the one thing in my kit I haven't used. The, um, there's a pair of tongs here. Um, I do not know if I like these or not. Um, I haven't used them enough. Um, hopefully I will. So that was the first compartment. We're on the second middle compartment, which has two sides. Um, they give you a big balloon whisk like this. Um, Quite honestly, I think that I I have used this a couple of times. I've made good macaroni with it. Um, a, they're a pain in the ass to clean. And B, I think that a little whisk, depending what you're doing, works better. Um, we also got this. Um, some of you guys will know what this is. Some of you won't. This is a microplane. Um, it's good for zesting. Um, good for zesting, uh, good for shredding, uh, hard cheeses, uh, things like that. Let's see, what am I missing? Um, I got a few of these little scrapers. Um, as you can see, I've got two different size plastic ones. These are mostly for getting your dough together, um, scraping your counters down, stuff like that. Um, a bag of piping tips. There's a few different sizes here. Um, won't you use those much? These are jar, plastic jar lids. They recommend in school that you use these to hold your cutting board in place. Um, I don't know if I think that's a good idea or not, quite honestly. Um, we did not use them in school, so uh, I guess we'll see. Moving on here, we got one of these little silicone scrapers. Um, I actually have started to use this a lot more and had a bit more appreciation for it. Um, we got, okay, so most of you are used to tablespoon a tablespoon set coming with a fourth of a tablespoon, a third of a tablespoon, or a third of a, a fourth of a teaspoon, a half, a third, a fourth of a teaspoon, a third of a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, a whole teaspoon, a tablespoon, a uh, half a tablespoon, and two and a tablespoon. Sorry, I'm getting them mixed up today because I have a braille set that is different. So this one only comes with a half a tablespoon or a half a teaspoon, half a tab a tablespoon, a half a tablespoon, and a whole tablespoon. Also, we get this nice bench scraper good for scraping your benches clean cutting pasta all that good stuff i love this thing i'm so glad to have this um what else do we got here we got a slotted spoon uh very nice little slotted spoon um they're not they're kind of cheap but durable i haven't managed to break it yet and I'm pretty rough on things, people will tell you. A uh, little uh, potato peeler. Um, I surprisingly like this one. Um, I've used it a few times now, and it works pretty damn good. Um, this knife also has a case, but this is, as you can see, it's kind of turned. So this is a turning knife. You see the end is kind of turned there. It's for turning like carrots. Um, stuff like that. 
Um, I haven't used it really much at all, so. Thank you for joining us today for our video. Um, it was definitely a video that I enjoyed making. Um, please remember anything you want to see in a video or suggestions you have, please leave them down in the comments or Remember, you can join us on the Facebook page at Mike's Culinary Adventures, um, and you can also leave them over there. We will try our hardest to get to your suggestions. Um, we have lots of content. We're always looking for suggestions for content, um, but we will keep working on it. Um, remember, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Get us out there. Tell a friend. All that good stuff. Also join us on the page at Mike's Culinary Adventures. Until next time, we'll see ya.